what's going on everybody i'm back again with another vlog and today i'm going to be exploring around downtown brooklyn been here a few times but every time i come here i always see like something new going on this neighbor is starting to look little by little like a mini manhattan when they pop up like skyscrapers you can, see, you can still see how they keep up the old traditional buildings there's like new skyscrapers over there then you see buildings like this kind of resembles a little bit like the lower side of manhattan so we're just gonna walk around here show you guys around so let's get this walk started so join me so this street over here is court street and to my left side it's on the way to the brooklyn heights and one thing i like is like the classic art deco you see over here like all the architecture like no matter which bar you go whether it's manhattan brooklyn or queens you're always gonna see like a collection a details of architecture and i made a i made a blog about this street going all the way down the cattle garden so you might want to check that out and this is like a store you see in new york city lot and less they sell like a lot of cheap products you're gonna see all around yeah manhattan too I'm not sure they have it in other bowls, but I know they have it here in, in Brooklyn, so that's a really good thing. Now I'm gonna make my way to Fulton Street where they got all the stores, all the shops. Pretty busy area in downtown, but then you look ahead of me, you can see how they're rising up the developments of the buildings in the middle of the downtown, and you see all these trucks all over New York City where they test for COVID, and a lot of people walking around here. Yeah. You know, that way over there's Fulton Street where you're gonna see all the stores and stuff. But pretty interesting, none of these buildings used to be here back then, so now you see how they pop it up, so that causes like the rent to go high. And you see like art selling stuff, you know. And then you can even rent a bike and bike around, you know, Brooklyn or anywhere in New York City. And there's also like a little plaza over there. Sometimes in the, in the summer they set up like activities and people dance and all that and you know perform so it's a really good vibe. I'm just entering Fulton Street which ahead of me you're gonna start seeing like a lot of stores and stuff. Pretty busy area and a lot of people around here. Not much happening over this side but the further I go that's when you're gonna see so I get this is like the old school vibe over here it keeps the uh, tradition but then you see how they pop up there skyscraper over there and then this one over here too so you can see how they do everything to change the neighborhood it's a little windy so i apologize if the sound is not the best like i say it's windy but a lot of stores a lot of street vendors some more architecture sometimes i come here and i go into stores and i buy nice t-shirts I made a little detour here because I thought it was pretty interesting the street. Might not be nothing special, but you can see all the restaurants and stuff. And there's a building in the corner that I think has a really beautiful architecture. But this is pretty cool. Like, I don't remember seeing all this spot over here, so. This is trying to change the area a little bit. It's a nice looking place. And I remember also the Brooklyn Nets are playing, so I guess when they win a game, I guess this area gets uh, pretty lit. For the NBA, but yeah, they got a beautiful building over here, beautiful structures. Yeah, this is the building that I spotted, like the architecture of the building. Pretty unique, pretty beautiful. By Lawrence Street. There's just the details in the collection where it makes it pretty interesting. And the area, the area over there looks pretty good too like a little view so you can see how much downtown has changed so i think it's really good you know pretty cool how the neighborhoods change so i had to make another detour over here so you can see what i'm talking about when they develop uh the city the neighborhood around here look how they're rising all these tall buildings over here so it's like it's like the downtown, it's like Manhattan, it's like they're expanding their skyscrapers. And I know like a few blocks by Flappers are developing like a really tall building. It's gonna be the tallest building in Brooklyn. And one of the tallest in all over New York City, so 
So like I say, Brokening, I think it's the most popular bolo in New York City. If it would be like a city himself, it would be one of the top, the top five, if I'm not mistaken, biggest cities in the United States. That's, that proves you, you know, how big it is and how, you know, popular it is. But I'm gonna go back to Fulton Street, walk over there. I'll probably wait my, I'll uh, probably make my way over Barclays Center. I'm gonna try to check some regular streets so you can see the brownstone buildings so you can see, you know, how cool this neighborhood is. See how they pop up all the skyscrapers and you still got this old building over here. And this is actually the tallest building in Brooklyn that they're building, so it's not even done yet, but you can see how high it is. Then over here is like a little plaza. Nothing fancy, but they develop up the plaza and people get to sit here and chill here. I'm looking at this and it kind of reminds me a little bit of the, of the hub in the Bronx. Because I know in New York City, a lot of neighborhoods, they have places like this, like the Fulton Street. They got 125th in Harlem and the hub in the Bronx, so pretty cool. But sometimes they set up, you know, like DJs and they play music and a lot of people, they chill over here. And then you can see how they develop all the high-rise buildings. It goes to New York City bus. I haven't taken one of those buses in years. Like about eight years, I think. A little windy today, so forgive me if the sound's not the best. So I made another detour over here, just so you can see how the streets are gonna change. Like you can see ahead of me, they're still developing. But if I go like a little further, it's gonna turn into a residential area with brownstone buildings. It just shows you like how a few blocks down one side of the neighborhood can change to another one. So you can see the big contrast. So let's walk over there and see what can we find. So here you can start seeing how the blocks stay slowly transition. Like I was in that Bessie area over there, but then if you walk over here, you can see how quickly you end up in a quiet residential street like this. But they got like all the brownstones. It's pretty beautiful, you know. There's only a few blocks from where the, all the skyscrapers are. It's also like another thing is that the Fifth Avenue in Brooklyn is not even far from here, which I made a block over there where I walked through Park Slope. And you got like this beautiful brownstones. This is a beautiful church too. Collection of brownstone buildings. Pretty beautiful. And ahead of me, kind of resembles a little bit of Hoboken in Jersey City. And this here looks like it's a new development. Even got a bike lane right there with the green. Then if I keep walking forward, you're gonna see how the neighborhood. It's like if you're walking in a tunnel of trees. So I'm just gonna take a little peek, like a block down, then I'm just gonna turn back and continue my journey with downtown Brooklyn. And this over here is the famous Atlantic Avenue, really big avenue. Goes all over Brooklyn, all the way down. I think it goes all the way by the beaches and stuff, and Barclays Center's over that way. And then you can see the streets, so I'm gonna cross and take a little peek, then I'm just gonna turn, maybe go that way. I'll figure it out. By the way, Atlantic Avenue looks pretty good, so maybe one day I'll load up in energies and try to walk. I'm not gonna say the entire avenue, but walk as far as I can, like I always do. But this is what I'm trying to talk about. Look at this street, how beautiful it is. It's like if you're walking under a tunnel of trees with all the brownstone buildings. So this is absolutely gorgeous. You can take Instagram pictures. Yeah. Thing over here too. And then over there ahead of me too. 360. Avenue and pretty much you know like any other main street got like a lot of businesses beautiful church over here architecture like I said it's pretty massive it goes all the way at the end so maybe one day I'm gonna attempt to walk as far as I can just to see how the neighborhood changes the contrast between downtown and a suburb in a regular area of Brooklyn New York so I'm walking back to some of the main avenues you can see the tall skyscraper the high-rise buildings and then this place is called State Street. And look how you end up in a beautiful street like this with brownstones. Only a block down from probably Flatbush Avenue and then you really see the contrast. Back again in Flatbush Avenue. You can see how busy it is. There's a lot of traffic jams and this is really busy. But at the same time, I think it's a really good sign because it proves you, you know, that things are pretty much getting back better, pretty much normal. So that could be like a really good sign, you know. So 
There's over here the famous Barclays Center, home of the Brooklyn Nets. So, you know, it's pretty interesting season. You know, a lot of people are going crazy over the Brooklyn Nets. It might be history if they ever make it, if they win, hopefully. <laughs> and then I'll give you a 360 view. There you see downtown Brooklyn, all of that. So you see a really, really cool neighborhood. So another pretty interesting thing is that I was in Barclays Center. You saw how busy that area is. Then I walk a block down and this is what you find, you know, a tunnel of trees, beautiful brownstones and pretty residential, pretty quiet. So, but then a few more blocks down, it's going to be busy again. So I think it's possible to find peace and quiet in downtown Brooklyn. You just got to know where you're going and which street do you want to live. And then here, block down, Fulton Street. See the shops and stuff going on. This is a block down from the last street I was showing you where they got the brownstone buildings. And then you walk ahead and then it start looking again like Manhattan, you know. With all these modern futuristic buildings that they developed. All those condos over there. Traffic jam of course. Which explains the reason why I never drive in New York City, you know. So yeah, look at the highway it's still in. Like I feel like I'm in Midtown. Midtown Manhattan or somewhere. With the traffic jam you hear all the noise of the construction going on. Look at this building here ahead of me. Bolton Hall. Pretty tall skyscraper. Give you a 360 view then. There's a little bit more residential over that area. But I wouldn't be surprised in the future they start developing, you know, like new high-rise buildings. So. Then here's gonna start getting busier again, so I'm gonna make it right. Start seeing all the high rise buildings over here. Hudson Avenue. I gotta walk the block ahead. Got like a little plaza over there. Pretty nice, you know, you can sit down, get some cool breeze. And they got like this office complex, fast food chain restaurant, high rise buildings. And then of course condos are they develop. And I made my way to Flatbush Avenue. You can see how the skyline of Brooklyn is starting to change with this really tall building. I think it's made out of bronze too, like, like the color and all that. And then on the other side over that way is where I was walking in Fulton Street where they got all the stores and restaurants. And you can see how they have like, you know, businesses here in the first floor. Fast food chains, 7 Eleven pizzeria. Show you over here too. Rental studios, but it's all like luxury, so you know it's expensive. So I think it's pretty cool. You can still see all the developments going on. And this is actually like a mall, and underneath, I made a blog there a few years ago. They got the car market hall. I don't see a line, but I forgot that they're opening up New York City, so I think you, you could just go in as long as you got your mask on. Like, there was a few spots that I went yesterday and a lot of people they didn't have their masks so I guess like little by little you know they're trying to lift down you know the restrictions with that but here ahead of me it's like a subway line so you can take either the B, the Q or the R train or the Cal Avenue station you know if you're in Manhattan or somewhere you got it you know a subway line and then ahead of me if you walk ahead of me it's J Street, the Metro Tech and the A Get yeah, the A and the C train goes there too Look at this building, pretty beautiful And then I think they're gonna develop another building over there so Pretty interesting to see how everything changes over here Then there's over here ahead of me are some beautiful looking luxury buildings Like I like the design of it, like the futuristic, the futuristic design, like the glass in it it's like a unique vibe, you know, look at this one, all curvy. But if you go all the way in the back, it's like a different area. I'm not gonna say, it's not a bad area, but it just looks way different than this. See, I'm approaching in a morning area in Brooklyn, which is J Street and Metro Tech. Pretty much they got like a college or something around here. And some important things around here in the main, you know, subway stop. So it's kind of like a little plaza then ahead of me is the Marriott Hotel So in the Christmas times they light up all these trees and stuff so 
pretty beautiful spot. And then it takes it to the other side in Adams Street. You make a left and you end up back again where I started in Fulton Street. It's perfect area to sit down and get some shade. <laughs> Especially when the weather's hot. Today the weather's good, just a little slight humid, but not as bad as it was yesterday. One thing I like about the summer is how the trees grow and then it's like if you're walking under a tunnel of trees. Here you see this other park. A lot of people just chilling. It's a little windy today. That's good because it helps the weather, you know, be pretty good. So I might sit down for a little bit. <laughs> Take a little break. Here's the end of the plaza, the subway trains over that way. Pretty spacious, that's the Marriott Hotel right there. Marriott for Brooklyn. Another tall building. You get three sister view. Plaza over there, so. I think it's a really, really cool spot. That was the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all and peace.